Hi everyone, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video. Today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite late blooming perennials and that is the New England Aster. Asters bloom from September through October. They uh, are a wonderful late season nectar source for all types of pollinators. Uh, bum bumblebees love them, honeybees, uh, butterflies. Uh, there's, there's a lot of activity on these uh, plants this time of year. Uh, they're very easy to grow. Uh, they can grow to be three to six feet tall. This clump right here is about five feet tall. I've had it here in my garden. This is the third year. I'll probably be dividing it next year. So this plant, this earlier in the spring in June, I actually cut this back. This When they got to be about three feet, I cut them back to about one feet. But as you can see, these things are very vigorous growers, especially in uh, you know average garden soil. They're going to thrive. So you can don't you know feel free to pinch them back to get a bushier plant. I'll probably cut them back maybe twice next year. You can also divide these in the spring real easy, and they're pr fairly easy to germinate from seed once you once they go through their stratification process. What I like to do is leave these up all through the winter, and then come and come and get some uh, seeds in February, and then I've had no problem germinating these plants. So another wonderful attribute of New England asters is that they also uh, host, serve as a host plant for about 12 different species of butterfly and moth, including the pearl crescent. And I've had this year probably more pearl crescents fluttering around my yard than any other year. I have some of these asters in various locations of my yard, and I plan on uh, cultivating some more and spreading them around even more. I'm going to try to get some shots of some of the ones that are over here all the ones that i have in my other areas of my yard i got from this plant just from germinating the seeds uh, another wonderful attribute about this plant is that if you let this go to seed and if you let it stand through the winter you'll also attract american goldfinch american goldfinch uh, rely a lot on seeds to get them through the winter months and a lot of people know that they like things like the echinacea seed pods. They've already been out here eating on these. But they also eat the seeds of New England asters. So that's another benefit of leaving these up and letting them go to seed is that you're going to attract uh, American goldfinches into your yard and they're going to feast upon those seeds throughout the winter months. There are There's a lot of cultivars of New England asters. They've been used in the garden extensively. You can go to any box store or any garden center this time of year and find a cultivar of the New England Aster. This, this is the straight species. So there you go. This is just a quick video. Uh, one more thing I want to mention before I go is that, you know, New England Asters, this is a beautiful colored plant and it looks wonderful paired with other late blooming natives like goldenrod. So if you really want to make a punch in the garden, a nice colorful, you know, pop in your garden, pair these with other late blooming native perennials like goldenrod. So there you go. Here, just another quick video for you. I hope you like this video. I would definitely recommend, I apologize for the lighting, the sun's to my back and it's not the <laughs> greatest viewing angle, but I think you get the picture. These plants look good any time, any time of the day or night when they're in bloom. So I hope you like this video and have a great day. Bye.